Let's take a look now at one of the more obscure but really powerful ways to use content-aware options. We're going to use content-aware to remove power lines, guide wires, and other distractions that traverse our image. So if we zoom in on this image here a bit and go up to the right corner, you can see we've got these three wires uh, that basically traverse the frame and really don't add anything except a distraction. So what we're going to do is use a combination of the pen tool and the spot healing brush to basically remove these in one step. So what we're going to do first is go to the spot healing brush and make sure our brush size is relatively small, maybe 15 to 20 pixels, not more than that, unless the wire that you're going to be covering up is really wide. So for these types of wires, uh, this will work just fine. Next, we need to make sure we're in replace mode and using the content aware type. From here, we can go to the pen tool and rather than create uh, the complex Bezier paths that people use to make selections, we're just going to create a simple straight edged path to cover up these lines. So first I'm gonna move the cursor over the origin uh, of the first line. And I'm gonna click once and then move down to the bottom of that wire. And then I'm going to click again and from this point, uh, we've got pretty much a straight edged match. Now, if the wire that you're working with happens to have some curvature to it, I'll go ahead and undo those last two steps. You can basically click the first anchor point and then click and hold on the second. And if you hold and then drag uh, the cursor, you can see that as you drag it outwards and move it from side to side, you can bend uh, the segment to match up with the curvature of the wire. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and step back in history to undo that. And uh, let's go ahead and do this now for real. I'm gonna place the cursor right over the origin of the wire, go to the bottom of the wire, and place another anchor point. From here, I'm going to move the cursor up along the wire so you can see I'm going to right click which is the same as control clicking on the Mac. And then I'm going to choose stroke path. And within this, you can see we've got many options uh, for making that uh, brush stroke, but we're going to make sure that we choose spot healing brush because that has the settings that we created earlier. So we're gonna choose spot healing and uh, you can leave simulate pressure turned off for this particular technique. And I'll go ahead and click okay. You can see now the correction is being made and if we delete the work path, you can see that we have a perfectly seamless correction. So from this point, you can continue on and remove as many wires as you need to using this technique. And it's going to be much quicker than if you try to clone them out or use the spot healing brush by itself to brush them out.